how that's working on with your radio duties? Well, you know, I, went, I was doing the special teams coordinator last year, so I dropped that and then picked up the uh, co-defensive coordinator. So Wes and I are working hand-in-hand hand with it. And uh, obviously Wes is, um, is making the calls. As far as my duties go, um, just just having an overall say in what we're doing schematically, uh, whether it be with the front, linebackers, or the back end, coverage-wise, you know, helping, helping Wes with the calls. Looking at formations, shifts, personnel, just just all that thing. I'm getting to put my eyes on and really have a say in. Some of it I was already doing in the box, yeah. but but now on the practice field, having a little bit more say uh, and having a bigger voice with the players. Only oh, oh, thing you're going to be in the box during the games again. I'm gonna still, but yeah, I'm gonna stay in the box. Yeah. How was Sherrod come in and kind of immerse himself in the defense? Sherrod is playing really good, so he is still learning a lot, a lot to learn, but. He, he's really exceeded my expectation with his speed, his coverage ability. I knew he was a physical player, but, but the way he can cover and, and his, uh, his instincts, being able to see things and, and, and read offenses is really special. He's going to be a special player. I mean, now that Tyler has gotten another surgery, is, do, you, do you have any time to table? Do you know that you, you might not be ready for it? Well, we're hoping, no, we're hoping he'll be ready in August uh, to come back. So he's, he's very engaged in our meetings. And, uh, you know, he's played so many different positions over the years that, that he, he really knows the defense inside and out. So I'm expecting him to make a full recovery and be ready to go. When we start summer practice. So even though he's, you know, now out there, do you feel like he's helping some of the young guys? I do, absolutely. He's, and he's helping himself because he's, he, I mean, he's on the front row. He's answering questions. He's not, you know, he's not looking to go to the training room and miss what's going on in the meeting room. You know, he's getting his work done, his rehab done. Of course, he had surgery last week, but but uh, he, he's going to be he's going to be just fine. As far as that roster of safeties go, has this got to be the most physically? Uh, Similar group you've ever had? Yeah, I mean we've got you know we got a lot of continuity back there, and I feel like we've got a lot of guys that know what to do. Um, you know we've got we've got a lot of stuff in right now, and I feel like you know all the way down to you know all the way down to even some of the walk-on players there, you know they have a pretty good understanding of it. My goal coming in for the safeties was you know to cross train, be able to play both strong and free, the nickel with Makuba to be able to play some corner, some nickel and some strong. And, and we've been able to do that, and the guys are, are really picking up on it. And Jalen Smith, was his, Jalen Phillips, Jalen Phillips his, 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 his progression over the uh, JP's year. been incredible. He's been, you know, he, he stepped in. I feel like he's got a lot more confidence. He's a lot more seasoned right now. He's played a lot. He's started in several games, you know, um, and he's really embraced his role. And what he did in the cheese at Bowl, I mean, he was, he was fantastic. Had a great game. I think he had two. Two pass breakups, had a few big hits in that game, and then, and then he's come out this this spring and really emerged as a leader uh, of that group, and uh, just eager and hungry to learn uh, and get better. So, I, and I think his coverage skills have gotten a lot better too. You mentioned Makuba. Has he been able to take his game to the next level so far, from what we've seen from him? Oh, definitely. Makuba's a special player, and, and I mean, he's doing it at three different positions and, and picking up on. It. He's just got. We just get all that knowledge, all that's going to do is just help him and help us, you know, to get more speed on the field at times when we need to. And uh, but he, he's definitely improved the time. Speaking of the cheese bowl, did it, it help that you guys had that time together there, instead there's of no just question. coming in cold in the spring and saying, hey, we're the new DCs? There, there's no question about it, you know. I mean, you get that, you get that thrown on you and – which is, which is fantastic, that's exactly what you want in this business, you want that opportunity. And, uh, you know, Wes and I work really well together. We worked really well together, you know, even when he was an analyst, uh, you know, guy's brilliant and, and does a great job. But, but not only that, he's very humble and, uh, you know, he's, but, but yes, to answer your question, going through a whole, you know, we went through the two weeks of preparation and getting ready and getting in front of the guys and gaining their confidence and gaining their trust because we played really good defense efficiency-wise better than we played all year last year. So now that you've had this part of the spring, you had the day of scrimmage, is the defense where you guys want it to be? Well, it's never where you want it to be. You always want it to get better and better and better, but we're playing we're playing at a high level right now in the scrimmages. You know, we, you know, uh, we started off the scrimmage today with a pick 
with a pick six by Nate Wiggins. Then we turn around and Toriano Pride picks one off and runs it back for a touchdown. And that's kind of been what we've been wanting to see is we, we've been getting a lot of turnovers with strips and, and, and poking the ball out. You know, that's been an emphasis for us, but to come out and get the interceptions, that was something we were putting a, a lot of emphasis on. Hey, we want to get the ball in the air, right? Let's go get the ball, which means we got to do better in our one-on-one -on -one drills. So it tells me we're improving in our man-to-man -man periods. And then when you put 11 on 11 out there, that, that shows up. So, you know, that, that's been good to see uh, coverage-wise. And then, you know, up front, we're doing it without Brian Brzee and Trey Williams right now. Those guys, those defensive linemen are getting opportunity, and they're really stepping up. And uh, you know, we're doing well. And, you know, same thing in all positions. Really. What's a realistic expectation for you guys as a defense, as a whole, for, for this coming season? I mean, it's it's to be, you know, obviously it's to be the best ever. I mean, that's what you that's what you want here at Clemson, right? I mean, it's you know, best is the standard. So I mean, we want to be we want to have the best defense we've ever had, but we got a lot of work to do, you know, to reach that goal. Uh, but we've got the tools to do it. Thad Terrence had told me one time every national championship team he's been a part of had a dominant defensive line. That was the common denominator. Right. Will you have a national championship caliber defensive line? There's year? no question. Our defensive line is fantastic, and you know, as long as they put in, as long as they put in the work from now until the time we start, the work that needs to be done, and, and you know, we don't go reading our press clippings. You know, we got a chance. You know, but you got to put the work in. You know, when you go back to that. That 2018 defensive line, those guys were those guys were different. They were special, and they had great leadership. And this defensive line has that same thing about them. They have that same characteristic about them. So, and they got a lot of experience too. Going back to the cross training we discussed about earlier with with, with Makua, what do you see when you bring Barrett Carter back to the safety position? Is he going to come back there for you? And is he playing back there? Yeah, and playing back there. Yeah, yeah just. He has, yes. He, I mean, he's a guy that can play multiple positions, especially on early downs. You know, you, he can do that. But that's kind of where that nickel position, the nickel sound position, has come to. I mean, it's a, it's become a, spe, you know, it's become a space game. You got to have guys that can play that space. But he's unique because he can cover guys, but he can get in the box and be physical with guys too. He's got the size, the speed, and agility to do it. Uh, last week. No one went out there and, and, and showed out on pro day. What do you think an NFL team would get, are going to get you know, if he gets that opportunity? I think they're going to be shocked. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be shocked at how good he is. I mean, the, guy, the guy's a baller, and he has been since the day he stepped on the field here. Uh, he's he's more athletic than anybody gives him credit for. You. I mean, a 37 and a half inch vertical jump is, is unbelievable. And then you go then you go turn in a 4 4 40. Um, but they're going to get a smart player. You know, which is probably what they think they're getting. I'm getting a smart player, but they're going to get the athleticism that they don't expect. The guy has he has incredible hips. The way he can swivel his hips and the way he moves, I mean, he just kind of glides across the field. And he's got great instincts. He's going to spend the time in the film room. He's going to understand offenses. He's going to understand routes. He's going to understand reads. And I mean, he's going to be somebody's going to get a really good player. out. Do you think he can? I know it's a, it's a, it's a million dollar question, but you think he can get drafted maybe day three, maybe? I, yeah, I think definitely can get drafted. You know, yeah. I mean, I, he just needs to get a chance. I mean, we've had guys that from Clemson have not been drafted that's gotten opportunities and they're, they're making millions of dollars right now as free agents. So I mean, if, if somebody doesn't draft him, then, then he just needs a he just needs a chance. But I mean, if I'm an NFL team, I'm I draft that dude all day. He's a baller. What is something he did in practice or whatever that kind of just, when you look back at his career, that really kind of stood out to you to I, say, this guy's got something special? I, I think just, um, I think just the way he, just the way he moves, just in general, and then being able to put him. I've been talking about playing multiple spots on defense. Just to be able to move him, I think, you know, one game he'd start at nickel, one game he'd start at free safety, one game he'd start at strong safety, and to go in there. And then be able to play, but I think that the, the the first play against, or not the first play, but against Louisville down in the red zone. Um, uh, what's that quarterback? Cunningham. Uh, Jackson. No, uh, Jackson. Yeah. yeah, Jackson breaks loose and he tackles him in open field and keeps him out of the end zone. And when I saw that, I was like, that guy special. So somebody walking out today, looked at me and said, defense is great. 
Then, but don't break most of the time. Is that kind of uh, an app description of what you saw out there today? I don't know. I thought we looked. I thought we looked pretty good. I didn't see a lot of bending. <laughs> we, we scored two defensive touchdowns. So we got a three and out to start with. We got a uh, pick six on the next drive. Then we got another pick six on the next drive. Sure. I'd say that's that's pretty pretty aggressive. Had a two minute had a two minute stop. He didn't even get a field goal out of it. Uh, with our first group. Uh, you know, the only disappointing thing would have been probably on the four yard line. Uh, we let them score on a little cross route right. where, where we had a kind of had a bust. You know, that's fixable. Right. You know, it wasn't a lack of effort or anything like that. So I, I wouldn't say we've been a whole lot. So, so Wes has said it, it, he's going to simplify things, or you guys are going to simplify things. Not make it a simple defense, but make this defense play faster. Have you seen that? And, and, have you seen it out here? Absolutely, and I think that I think part of that is as we do our as we do our. I mean, we still don't have the same same stuff. Sure. But as we do the install, we're focusing a little bit longer and shorter on the day. So I mean, we're making the install a little bit shorter per day. But I mean, you get you get to the end of the spring, we got and, and you check you, you check it with last spring, we're about the same. We're about at the same spot. We've just spent more time on the front end learning it, perfecting it. Trying to master, uh, you know, the different nuances of the uh, of the scheme. Yeah, we're placing two potentially first round draft cornerbacks, you know, going in this year. Have you seen that Sheridan and the guys out there so far? Well, it, you know, Sheridan is, you know, before he, you know, now he, before he got hurt a little bit, he was he was fantastic, and he'll he'll be back. So just his knowledge and him making plays on the front end's been great. And then, he, and then Nate Wiggins, uh, if you were able to watch the scrimmage today, he was <laughs> he was as good as anybody you know, that we've had since I've been here. I mean, he, he probably had three PBUs, four PBUs today, and, and pick six, and, and he was all over the place. Kind of has said with Nate, it's more like polishing him up. Yeah, you know, you know, no doubt. He just keep just keep learning the defense. I mean, he's he's still a young player, still learning what to do. But he's got he's got a great skill set, great length, speed, change of direction, and he's got a good good feel for the game. What about so, the, the, fresh, the other freshman guys, Toriano and, and yeah, Toriano's been yeah, Toriano's been great. Uh, he's he's playing really well, making play. He had the other pick six today. Uh, you know, on that third drive, Toriano's been great. I think the thing I've been impressed with him is how much football knowledge he has. He understands leverage, and he, he understands, um, you know, what offenses are trying to attack. Him. So, then, and then Lucas is, is going to be great too. His athleticism uh, is what size. He, he yeah, he's huge. You know, he's tall and long, but he can jump and run and, and do all those things. It's exciting. Three practices in the spring. What do you want to see? Maybe it's four practices. A few, and then the spring. What do you want to see here at the end? Well, I, I'd like to see us continue to improve. Uh, you know, coverage-wise, continue to get better. Uh, you know, with our keys and reads. Uh, you know, just continue the cohesiveness uh, and just keep building confidence. I think that's the that's the main thing. Guys just need to be confident what they're doing. Play fast. Yeah, that, that, that question. Two words can, you can get to a that question. Game. Communication level. You know, um, between staff to, to, to the team on the field when you got to scrum and stuff. Have you gotten to this this ball game to now? Have you got to a point now? We feel like. That snaps on and just goes. And yeah, the communication has been great. You know, it's been great with the staff. It's been, it's been good with the players too. There, but you can always improve the communication, uh, especially with young players. You know, and just and, and what I, I want them to be confident in the communication. Confidence comes from knowledge. So the more they know and the more they they can learn and retain, the faster they can play and the better they can communicate. And, you know, with knowledge comes confidence. With confidence comes that communication that you want. That's what leadership last year. You lost a lot of leadership back there. No one was back there. Mm -hmm. Who's that guy back there now this year? Well, up? I mean, JP, JP's been a great leader for us back there. Uh, you know, Tyler Venables, I know he's not out there on the field right now, but, but his leadership in the meeting rooms and, and you know, off the field has been, has been great. And then, you know, R.J. Mickens, has shown some leadership. Makuba has shown some leadership. I mean, all these guys are. Lanny Zanders is, is is doing a lot of good things right now. I know he can't go full speed, but uh, you know, but he's playing really fast. So excited about what he brings to the table. But all of them are trying to be leaders. 
I'll take one last one for Coach. Where's Landon from? You know, just a half standpoint. Right he's now. he's in great shape. He's in great shape and, and probably could go, but let's not let's not take the chance right now. Let's get him let's get him a little bit stronger. Get him to August and, and ready to go. But he's taking he's taking thud reps. He's just not taking anybody to the ground. So he's he's doing he's doing really well. Can see some baseball. Yeah. Appreciate you, Coach. Yeah,